Hey, and congrats on getting started here on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to upload your first video to YouTube. Restream is your simple solution for live streaming to YouTube or multi-streaming across multiple social media platforms. Plus, its web-based service is available on popular browsers. And if you're already live streaming, it's compatible with your favorite live streaming and recording tools as well. Head over to tryrestream.today, check out its intuitive design, and start live streaming today. First thing you want to do is make sure you're logged into YouTube. You want to go to youtube.com. You can use your Gmail account to log in to YouTube. So make sure you're signed into your Google account. Uh, you'll know you're logged in because you'll see some type of round icon here in the upper right hand corner. It may have a little letter in it as opposed to an actual image, but you will not see a button that says sign in. If you see that sign in button, then you are not logged in. You need to take care of that first. But we're going to assume you're signed in to YouTube. We're here on YouTube's main page and we are going to go over here to the upper right hand corner and click on this little icon. And when we do this, we're going to get a drop down menu. Now, depending on your particular channel, you are probably not going to have the go live or create a post option, uh, but we are focused on upload video. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the camera icon in the upper right hand corner and then upload video. Now from here, it's going to bring us into a wizard. Now for, you can either choose to open a folder on your uh, computer, your PC, your desktop, and drag and drop a video from one of your folders onto the screen, or you can actually click on select files and then browse to an actual video. Uh, we're gonna grab this promo video for my People of Video Conference and we're going to drop it in here just to use as a test. But what happens next is it brings you into this step-by-step -step wizard for uploading videos. Now there's a couple things you need to focus on here. Uh, you see across the top of the screen, we have details, monetization, video elements, and visibility. Now again, if you're not monetized, then this is not going to be an option you need to worry about. Uh, I would imagine they either remove that from this or you simply have no options to choose when you are moving through this. But you'll also see that uh, we have information already populated in the description box. Now, if this is something that you're interested in doing, which I highly recommend because it can save you a lot of time on future uploads, you can actually make this pre-populate using the upload defaults feature here on YouTube. If you want to look into that more, I will put a card at the top of the screen. You can check out that video to show you how to get all of this information set up in YouTube defaults. It's a great way to share things like affiliate links and other things that you want to draw attention to in your description without having to write them every single time you upload a video. So we're going to leave all that here. Upload with a title. You want to make sure you have a relevant title. Uh, if you are looking for ideas on how to title your videos, make sure you let me know in the comments below. We will put a video out dedicated to titling your video uh, so you can drive more views to your channel. But in any event, we're here on the detail screen. If we scroll down, we'll see that we have the thumbnail section. And I do recommend that you add uh, custom thumbnails rather than just selecting a still image from your video. Uh, as you get started though, it's certainly more important that you upload videos. So if you're not quite ready to do your own custom thumbnail yet, don't let that stop you from uploading your video. Get it uploaded, pick one of the images that they give you. And uh, as you progress in your YouTube journey, you'll have every opportunity to learn how to do custom thumbnails. Playlists are another way of organizing your channel, uh, so you will want to at some point create some playlists, but since this is your first video, you can get by without creating a playlist for now. You also need to designate whether your videos are intended for kids. If your target audience is not kids, you would put no, it's not made for kids. Uh, if you are in fact hoping to make content that will be watched specifically by kids, then you do want to let YouTube know that it's made for kids. Also in here, we have some more options. Uh, you not going to have to worry about this on your first video or uh, in most cases you wouldn't. Uh, you need to check this if there is a paid promotion within the video. And then we also have tags down here, which we're not going to worry about now. Uh, really want to focus on making a good title and uh, getting your description filled out. Not so much about the tags down here. Most of this other stuff, again, you will want to review this and set it. You can get these 
preset using your upload defaults like we talked about earlier, but select your language. You also want to keep it on standard YouTube license. You have Creative Commons attribution and you also have standard YouTube license. Standard YouTube license basically says you don't want people, other people taking your content and using it however they want, whereas Creative Commons suggests that you're okay with other people taking your, your content. So I would leave it on standard YouTube license. Then you want to select a category that your content falls within using one of the ones that they have here. Uh, and then uh, you have some options on comments, whether you want YouTube to figure out the ones that may be inappropriate and not show them, uh, which I would recommend leaving that set as the hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. Uh, show how many viewers like and dislike this video. Yeah, we have no problem with that. We'll leave that on as well. We're going to click next monetization again don't worry about monetization you're obviously not monetized if you are just on your first video in order to get monetized here on youtube you do have to get a thousand uh subscribers and also 4,000 watch hours. So if that's something that you are focusing on as a goal, I'll put a card at the top of the screen as well to show you a video on what you have to do to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours so you can be monetized in the future. But for now, we should focus on our content. I'm going to say we're going to turn this off. No monetization and hit next. And then we have our added end screen and cards. Now, uh, for now, we're not going to worry about this. I typically don't worry about this on the initial upload, uh, even on my channel. And then we click next. We can come back and do these things before we actually publish the video. Now, this part's really important. When you upload your video, I suggest that you upload it as private or unlisted. This is going to give you an opportunity to make sure the video is fully uploaded uh, and everything looks good before you release it to the world. Now, you may have not noticed because this was a very quick video, but down here in the lower left hand corner, there is an upload icon and it would show you a progress of where this video is in terms of uploading. The way it works on YouTube is YouTube will upload a video and make it available to everybody in standard definition, even if you've uploaded it as a high definition video. This is in order to get your content available to your audience as quickly as possible, and YouTube will continue to process a high definition version of it in the background and make that available on your channel once the, the processing has completed. So when you first upload your video, if your initial impression is, hey, the quality doesn't look as good as it was when I made the video that's okay that's YouTube processing your video in the background and you want to make sure uh, that you understand that so you don't uh, think that something went wrong with your upload so now we're gonna click Save and when we click Save it's gonna bring us to the what used to be the video list now they refer to it as content here on the left side uh, and you will see all your videos including the video that you just uploaded now this video is going to be listed as unlisted because that's what I chose to upload it as and before we actually go and publish this we can come in here and click the pencil we can look over everything make sure everything looks good again we have our description and uh, all of this other information if we scroll down here playlists thumbnails for now don't worry about any of that uh, and uh, also we have the visibility option over here. When you are ready to release this into the world, into the wild and let people see your video, we're going to go into visibility. We're going to set it to public. We're going to click done down here and then we're going to click save. Now, the moment we click save right here is when YouTube is going to release that to the general population on YouTube. And that is when people are going to be able to find your video and hopefully you'll get a lot of views and everything. But that process can take some time. Uh, so I do recommend I do encourage you. If you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel here on YouTube, make sure you head over and click the subscribe button here on Creator Fundamentals uh, and click that bell notification so you're alerted to future content because it does take a while to learn the ins and outs of YouTube. You can absolutely do it. And I am here to help you any way that I can to give you the knowledge and the skills and the strategy to grow your channel. And hey, don't let the learning stop here. There is a wealth of information to learn already here on Creator Fundamentals. So be sure to click on the video to my right so you can keep learning and growing your YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.